Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the member forces in this truss by method of joints. In this truss, in the point A, there is a hinged support and in the point E, there is a roller support. We know that in the hinged support, there will be two reactions and in the roller support, there will be only one reaction. Here, there is only vertical reaction. First, let us find the vertical reaction VA. To find that, I am going to take a moment about E. VA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. So, 4 VA. The horizontal load 60 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3. This horizontal load is acting in the clockwise direction. So, it is also positive and the distance is 3. This horizontal load is also acting in the clockwise direction. So, it is also positive and the distance is 6. For VA, we will get a negative value. That means our assumption is incorrect. We assumed that VA is acting upwards, but actually it is acting downwards. Now, let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0 and find VE. VA is acting downwards, so it will be negative. Let us keep VE upwards, so that it will be positive. For VE, we will get a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. VE is acting upwards. Let us apply sigma H is equal to 0 and find HA. HA is acting towards the left side, so it will be negative. These three loads are acting towards the right side, so all three of them are positive. For HA, we will get a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. HA is acting towards the left side. We have to find this angle. Let us keep this angle as theta. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, let us apply tan theta formula. We know that tan theta is opposite side by adjacent side. Using that, we can find theta. For theta, we will get 36.87. If this angle is 36.87, this angle and this angle also should be 36.87. 90 minus 36.87, we will get 53.13. First, let us take the joint E and find the member forces. First, let us apply sigma V is equal to 0. 120 and FDE are acting upwards, so both of them are positive. For FDE, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. Let us apply the rule sigma H is equal to 0. There is only one horizontal force FAE. So that will be 0. Now let us take the joint A and find the member forces. First, we have to apply the rule sigma H is equal to 0 because there will be only one unknown. No need to consider FAE because it is 0. FID is inclined, we have to make it horizontal. To make it horizontal, we need 36.87 degree. Since it is acting towards the right side, it will be positive. And we have to multiply with the cos 36.87. 130 is acting towards the left side, so it will be negative. For FID, we will get a positive value. That means it is tensile. Now let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0. FID is inclined, we have to resolve it in the vertical direction. To keep it in the vertical direction, we need 53.13 degree. It is acting upwards, so it will be positive. And we have to multiply with the cos 53.13. FAB is acting upwards, so it will be positive. 120 is acting downwards, so it will be negative. Finally, for FAB, we will get a positive value, that means it is tensile. Now let us take the joint B and find the member forces. First we have to apply sigma V is equal to 0 because there will be only one unknown. FAB is acting downwards so it will be negative. FBC is inclined, we have to resolve it in the vertical direction. To keep it in the vertical direction, we need 53.13 degree. 
since it is acting upwards it will be positive and we have to multiply with the cos 53.13 we know the value of fab 22.5 and it is tensile let us apply that for fbc we will get a positive value that means it is tensile now let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0 60 and fbd are acting towards the right side so both of them are positive fbc is inclined we have to resolve it in the horizontal direction to keep it in the horizontal direction we need 36.87 degree it is acting towards the right side so it will be positive and we have to multiply with the cos 36.87 just before we have calculated fbc and it is tensile let us apply that for fbd we will get a negative value that means it is compressive now let us take the joint c we have already found fbc only we have to find fcd let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 fcd is acting downwards so it will be negative fbc is inclined we have to resolve it in the vertical direction to keep it in the vertical direction we need 53.13 degree since it is acting downwards it will be negative and we have to multiply with the cos 53.13 we know the value of fbc 37.5 and it is tensile let us apply that for fcd we will get a negative value that means it is compressive now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video